Hey, Sean from SpeakTubeView.com, and this is my favorite app. This is called VFMC, and this is made by Rodney Kinney, and it's completely free. You can download it, use it. I'll put links in the description. This is an amazing FMC program that really focuses on if you're going to do HTR, even floppy reduction, stuff like that. And I'm just going to do a full solve right now. And there are buttons you can press to adjust things as far as colors and sizes and transparency and how many bad edges show if you show them all or not. And then you can do a lot just with the keyboard. So I'm just gonna show you everything here. And yeah, I'm just gonna do a full solve. This is, the solve I'm gonna do is from the Senior Cubing Worldwide Online Fewest Moves. I'm gonna take off my watch so it doesn't click all the time. I'm gonna type scramble. Sometimes I forget exactly how this works. I think it was, do I need the open in parentheses and then the scramble? Yeah, there it is. And I could still click this here and move it around, but I'll do EO front back. And it just shows me all the edges. So you can have it not do this. So this might be a little bit of, uh, makes it easier to see everything, a little bit of cheating. I find it easier to find EOs, but more difficult to find finishes because I can't just move the cube in the speed I want to. But I'll stop talking as much, kind of fast forward through some things. This doesn't need to be an hour long video. If I type things in here, like if I type, let's say L, B prime, R2, F, as long as that's a good EO, we can see that. And then I can click save. But if I do a different one, so if I go back to here, anything I type in here, L prime, B prime, you can see that R2, it actually does it live. And then again, there's a button here for NIS, so I can just type in NIS. Okay, I'm at the end now and I completely forgot the best part of this as far as checking things. So if after I did EO, if I wanted to see what domino reductions were from here, I could choose to show five domino reductions and see maybe what I missed and so on and other things from there. So the, the solve that I ended up doing at the end, so spoiler, was this. And it looked like a 12 move DR was the best I could do. Well, now I'm just gonna do, I'll do two HTRs, a couple there. And the HTR I took was this one. So if I just even finish it from here, 25. There, was a 25 move finish? No, that's floppy reduction. Okay. So yeah, so you can go through and actually have it create EOs and domino reductions and HTRs. You don't, you could just put a random scramble in there and see a bunch of different possibilities. Um, that's more step-by-step -step so you can check them out instead of some of the things that show you results. Unless you manipulate it, it sometimes just jumps to the best result. And this, you can really trace out different different ideas and, and see where they lead to. Okay, and let's go to domino reduction. Now, this might just be the way I think of it. Um, so when you're doing EOFB for front and back, that is orienting the axis on the front and back. But if I do DRRL, so if I'm starting here, and I can click here, DRRL, that means that the right and left side will be on the top, meaning they're not oriented yet. So I'm a little confused by that. So I also, once I get here, I turn the cube a bit so I can more easily see what's going on. And it does tell you here seven corners are misoriented and six edges, which is a huge help when just identifying things. In parentheses, L, three C, two E. That's fantastic. So definitely like that. Now I'm actually going to click save here. And here, it's not quite DR yet, not quite domino reduction, but it's close. So I'm gonna keep finding some DRs, but you can see here, it says DRUD. I will often change this. So I'll put comment, open parentheses, quote, 4C3, to just let me know what it is. And I'd like, that would be a nice change to be able to just have that every time instead of just saying DR. 
So something else, if I click an EO, it tells me what DRs or HDRs, whatever we have, are branching from it. Oh, I forgot, if I hit option, that shows the back of the cube much faster than spinning the cube around all the time. I want to do possibly an R2U. If I do L2, that'll cancel. L2U. Okay, so let's look at this now. So I wanna do a floppy reduction. What I would do if I had a regular cube is solve the corners and then see how many U or D rotations I did and then how many other swaps I needed. For this, it already tells me, so I don't need to think about it too much. I'll show you what I'll do for those of you who don't know, because I don't have a video on this yet, although I want to. So F2, um, D2, R2, D2. So I did two D2s, plus there's a swap back here. So that's three, that's an odd number, meaning one or three swaps total. And since I have four edges, one, two, three, four, those edges could be fixed in one turn. So I only need one turn. And let's see, I need to get the red green down here, which is there. So yeah, this, ooh, this could be real nice. All I have to do is L2, U2. And I've got floppy reduction. And then this looks like I'll have a pretty good finish. Ooh, 29. Okay, never mind. Not as great of a finish. And I'm guessing I won't have anything really better if I do the inverse, but let's try. No, not really. This is going to be great. I could just try to finish as best I can normally. I want to change this to finish. I could do F2, L2, U2, L2. 25 to 4 edges. So let me show you how insertions work. Insertions. And when I click on this, now we have the solve. And I found out after making the video that it did not show this insertion screen because it's a separate window and I'm capturing the window. So I can go through, I'm gonna redo this right here and go through all these points to see where the edges are. So it's like stickering it and see where they show up. And right here, this is where I found a good spot to throw an insertion in. What I did was I did so L2, F2, L2, U2, B2, R2, B2, U2. So that inserted eight, canceled five, so ended with a 28. I'm gonna leave it there at the 28 for right now. So we have my solution, EO, uh, domino reduction, HTR. No, wait, 26, I keep saying 28, I'm at 26. Yeah, I thought it would get to cancel more than five because when I was typing it in, that I was like, I know they L2 and F2 and U2. So yeah, did a lot better than that. Ended up being 26. So I'll take a 26. And then here we can actually just save the session. That is VFMC. So this video itself, it, I'm, I just did that in 36 minutes. I think if I did this with a regular cube, I would have found something very similar because this was from the first EO I did. And probably would have taken maybe 45 minutes to the full hour for that just to write stuff down and plus I would get sidetracked too much But other than that check it out. I'll have a link in the description support him in any way you can He's done so much for the fewest moves community and just I would say cubing community in general and putting this together is Great, so thank you again for watching if you watch this whole thing awesome if you do any FMC and have questions, I'll have a link to all my videos below, but also feel free to ask them. I really enjoy FMC. So thank you again. Hit like, subscribe for more content like this in the future, and as always keep following SpeedCube Review for more news and reviews.